Hello second graders, this is Ms. Deepa here and I'm going to read aloud to you from this book. The name of the book is Flood by Alvaro F. Villa and it's a wordless picture book. So before we start reading the book, you need a partner to do this book with. So go pause the video, find a family member, a parent or a sibling to watch this video with because I'm going to ask you to pause the video and talk to your partner. And so grab a family member and come back and press play. Flood by Alvaro F. Villa What do you notice in this picture? Pause the video to talk to your family member. I noticed a house on the riverside and a family lives there. Let's see what the family does. Ooh, looks like this family is having a good time at home. I see dad in the picture and it looks like dad is busy doing something. What is he doing? Pause to talk to your partner. Let's move on. Uh oh, looks like a storm is coming. I can see the rain clouds fast approaching the house. What's happening in this picture? Pause to talk to your family. They're watching the weather report and it doesn't look good, does it? And while the kids are sleeping, it looks like mom and dad are making plans. I wonder what their plans are. Let's turn the page to find out. Hmm, what's this? Hey, I noticed something. I wonder if you noticed what I'm noticing. What do you see? What do you notice about the house and the area around it? Pause the video to talk to your partner. Did you notice the wall around the house? Yes, they're using sandbags to build a wall around the house. Now, why would they do that? You're right. The water levels in the river seem to be rising and maybe it's going to come and flood the house. We don't know. Let's read to find out. Oh dear. Look like the family is packing to move. Where would they go and why would they go? Talk to your partner. The family says goodbye to their sweet house. What is the weather like now? Talk to your partner. What's happening to the river? Do you think they'll come back? Oh no, the water levels have come up. The family looks like they're safe in a warm and dry place. But what's going to happen to the house? Will the sandbag wall be enough to protect the house? What do you think? Talk to your partner. Oh no! It looks like the water breached the wall. It's rushed into the house and now Everything is getting destroyed. Take a minute to look carefully at this picture. Talk to your partner about what you notice is happening here.
Where is the river now? Is it still a river? Talk to your partner. What kind of damage do you think has happened to the house? What happened to the land? Oh no! Look closely at this picture. I think the water has receded. Receded means water has gone back to where it originally was. And I can see it right here in the picture. Let me show you. But what did it leave behind? What is this? What do you think it is? Talk to your partner. Where did this come from? What happened to the tree that was here? Oh, looks like the family is back to their house. What do you notice is different from this picture and this picture? Pause the video and tell your partner what are three differences you notice between this picture and this picture. Okay, are you ready to move on? I think the whole landscape has changed. Oh, the family is back to look at their house. I wonder how they're feeling. My guess is they are devastated. They are so sad to see their beloved house look this way. Again, what is that? What is all that? Where did it come from? There was no puddle in front of the house before. Where did that come from? Why did it make a puddle here? Use what you know about water and what we've learned about water flowing from high places to low places to answer this question. I'm going to turn the page. Oh, look! They've got help now. People are helping them rebuild their house. What else do you notice? What did they do differently this time? Yes, you're right. They've planted more trees. Why did they do that? Oh, look! They're planting more trees. Why? This is the last page of the book and it paints a happy picture of a family together in their beautiful house once again. You can see the trees, the family looks happy, the house looks brand new. But what about the river? What do you notice about the river? What's different between this picture and the very first picture in the book? Sorry. What do you notice is different between this and this? This and this. Yes, they have more trees now. What else is different? What do you notice about the river? Has the river changed its course? Yes, it does look like that, doesn't it? Looks like the river has changed. It's changed. The river is flowing a little further away now. Hmm, I wonder what caused that kind of change to happen. Okay. Thank you for listening to me read aloud this book. I hope you had fun watching this video with your family. Now, I don't know if you know this, but in the year 2015, there was, there was a big flood in Chennai. Yes. Hmm. And a teacher at our school um, had her house get flooded very much like this. Now she's our mystery teacher for today. But been, since she's been through a flood and she's lived through a flood, she's our flood expert. What questions would you ask Miss mm, Mystery Teacher? What questions would you ask her? Make sure you use open-ended questions 
uh, go to the Padlet that's linked and ask open-ended questions and our mystery teacher will choose the three best questions to answer. You'll see her answers on Monday. Have fun!